cabin late arrivals. That would be me. Had to come to park headquarters. Okay, this is our cabin in Roan Mountain State Park. It's a lot more than I expected. We have this main area here, wood burning stove. They provide you with the wood bedroom. Nice little bathroom. Dining room table. Kitchen, oven, microwave, fridge, coffee pot, and loft area. Twin beds overlooking not bad at all. We brought some lasagna going for dinner. There's already one in the microwave. Was gonna do it in the oven, but it'll take 45 minutes. Don't really feel like waiting for that. Caesar salad as well. So I got here late. Don't judge on presentation, but we've got some uh, personal lasagnas, Caesar salad, some Italian bread, and we've got a fire going in our little stove. It's pretty fun. So far, pretty impressed. The kitchen had all the tools that you need. Uh, we were a little upset at first because it didn't have a lighter, but it didn't have matches. My bad, uh, I let the fire die, uh, but I think I got a, a good hold on it, maybe. I don't know. Just gotta keep it going. And yeah, I kind of forgot this part was on fire and just like grabbed a hold of it. But that was really stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> it's going all right. here and use Wi-Fi over here because there's no Wi-Fi anywhere else. Not really. And then that's the park office. Just checked in, late check-in. And if you're a Tennessee resident, within 30 days of your booking, you can get 10% uh, off. Makes this place actually a really, really good deal. Now let's figure out what we're doing today. I was primarily stopping here to see if they happened to sell any phone chargers as mine had stopped working. They didn't have any, but I did get a cool Roan Mountain State Park sweatshirt that you'll see later on in this video. We briefly headed into the very small town of Roan Mountain to see if a gas station here might have a charger. I did find one at this BP. There really weren't any other stores in this area. Now let's head back to the cabin and prepare to head to Banner Elk across the state line in North Carolina. We have five rocking chairs here and a little grill. It's only about a 30 minute drive from the Roan Mountain cabins to Banner Elk, which is the town that is central to two of North Carolina's top ski resorts. The lodging here was about twice as expensive as in Roan Mountain State Park once we factor in the Tennessee State Resident discount. So it was definitely worth not being right here in Banner Elk. We are going to try to find some lunch before we head up to the Beach Mountain Ski Resort. 
Let's try out this place. I can't tell if it's called the Banner Elk Cafe or the Lodge. It's basically two restaurants in one, it seems. They have like five menus. And it's a drink menu and then this. I think we're gonna do this because it's pretty affordable. The food was very good and pretty affordable for a tourist town, and probably a way better deal than anything we would have gotten from the ski resort. The pulled pork meal was about $9 and the meatloaf meal was about 8 We are heading up the mountain at around 1pm because we had planned to do the twilight ski session for about $75, which is basically from 1pm to 10pm. However, it appears that everyone else had the same idea. There was absolutely no parking and I wish I had filmed it, but the line to buy tickets was extremely long. We stood in it for about a full hour. Oh, and you also couldn't buy tickets online ahead of time. After finally getting our lift tickets, we went to get our rental equipment. You have to get your ticket before the equipment because they were actually running out of gear like snowboards. We ended up just buying the night pass from 5 to 10 p.m. since we wasted about two hours trying to park and get tickets. Fortunately, we were able to use the bunny hills while we waited, which was very helpful since we had both only skied one other time before this. We went ahead and got in line for the lifts at about 4.30. There were just so many people here this day that the line was just going to take this long anyways. By the time we made it to the top of the lift, we were greeted with an awesome sunset. Surprisingly, on my first time down, I did not fall. And yes, this is a green trail. Skiing at night is incredibly fun, and this trail is great for novice skiers such as myself. The only thing that really caused me any trouble was navigating around all of the people this night. And because there were so many people, the snow surface was a little overused. It was super icy and the tracks from previous skiers and snowboarders made it a rather bumpy ride down. Now to make my way around all of the people here at the bottom and get back in line. Wow, it got super dark. 
Bad boy off. Okay, it got really frigid. Ooh. Gonna go up into the restaurant, see what oh. we got. Okay, we are about to do our last one. It's getting really icy. It's really, really challenging, but uh, it's gonna be the last one. To the car it's completely iced over it's very challenging to walk no lights out here this place I don't feel like is very well maintained okay we're leaving Beach Mountain after a little experience involving some ice that guy, that truck spun out hard in the parking lot. Yeah, it was very icy there. They did not do a good, they didn't salt it at all, I feel like. No. I feel like here's where it'd be good to have snow tires. Yes.
Welcome to Tennessee. Yes. I am so tired. That was quite the experience at Beach Mountain. It's really icy, very, very icy. But overall, it was fun, it was a good time. Now I'm going to wind down. As you can see, my hair is falling out. Ugh. We did skiing today. Our low main stir fry, whatever you want to call this, going. We heated the oven, make some egg rolls. Quite hot. Dinner served. Yeah, probably, you know, not the healthiest breakfast I've ever had, but definitely delicious. Okay, so in the daylight, just wanted to show that for most cabins, you do have to kind of walk out to them. On these paths, you can't pull right up. And they have these little tote carts to help get your stuff there. They have firewood. And pretty nice little place. Time to go home.